folks, here's a tip. If you're trespassing on somebody's property, you should probably at least know the name of the landowner for when I ask you. farm country today got her boy Lancy with us get the crossbow and we're gonna head in set up on on a camera where I've got uh, quite a few bucks cruising through looking for does here the past few days so maybe do a little rattling some grunting and see if we can get one of these suckers down What do you think? Boone and Crockett doe or Boone and Crockett buck today? The doe. The doe. <laughs> Lance is the nanny doe slayer. A few moments later.
saw a deer move through the bottom here. Not sure what it was, so we're just sitting tight. Nice buck. Six, seven, eight years old. Oh, yeah. Oh. The woods all day. Back in those days, my mother would kick you out of the house. You know, right, don't get the house fire and that was it. But, oh, dude, you don't want to go that way. There's going to be some boys up here looking to kill you. Huge woods, but... <sighs> a tip. 
if you're trespassing on somebody's property, you should probably at least know the name of the landowner for when I ask you. Oh my god, this is why I hate hunting Southern Zone opener in New York. Because people like that, I just am sitting here, I'm set up on the field tonight where I keep getting pictures of Chance. It's at the, in the dark, I'm getting pictures of him, but I figure, you know, I'm just going to come sit here and see what's going on. Um, I'm not really a big field hunter guy. I don't, I don't really think I'll be killing a big buck tonight, but I can see quite a ways up in the woods and stuff too, so I'm just giving it a shot. I said, what the hell? Um, I'm sitting here and I see somebody driving a four-wheeler through the middle of the field. And I'm like, who the hell is this? I had to hop down on my stand, walk all the way down there. I said, hey, excuse me, sir. Do you know who owns this property? And his response was the farmer down there. He said, well, you're not supposed to be here and you're not welcome here. And he tried telling me he was trying to track a buck, but he had his gun and a stool in his hand. So I'm no detective, but I don't think he was tracking a buck in the middle of the field with a stool in his hand. Just me, though. And then he wanted to go 50 more yards, and I said, nah, get out of here. Ah, oh, people, I tell you what. I got the blood boiling. Anyways. Whew, I'm set up over these fields tonight. We'll see what happens now, but...
What's up guys hope you guys enjoyed that video um, just want to come on here and kind of give you a very unfortunate update um, yesterday um, the buck that I've been chasing for two years uh, I called him chance short for second chance um, he was killed um, by, by um, kid on the neighboring property who I'm super happy for um, he worked just as hard to get that buck as I did so very very well deserved um, he actually let me go and take a look at him and uh what a what a beautiful buck he was man uh just huge uh i think i'm gonna probably do a story on him uh, in another video kind of break down everything i went through over the past two years uh kind of what that buck meant to me and what it would have taught me um but that'll be in a future video um again you know who you are super happy for you dylan uh awesome awesome buck congratulations um this weekend we are heading back up, chasing some snow. Uh, last last video I was saying nor, uh, northern Adirondacks, actually western Adirondacks where we're going. I think all the boys will be there this weekend. They're going there on Friday. I have to work, so I'll be there on Saturday. Um, and hopefully hopefully we can get one on the ground. It's been, you know, Corey and I shot our bucks. I was just on the phone with Brad here, and we are talking about it. Corey and I both shot our bucks, but other than that, it's uh, kind, of been, kind of been a real grind for, for everybody, um, especially with the rifle in our hands, so... Really hoping we could turn this around towards the end of the season. And, uh, <sighs> been a rough two days. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I have nothing else to say. My mind's, my mind's scrambled right now. Um, but, hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, like and subscribe, and, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.